Hello everyone! So you seem to have spoken. People definitely voted for a lot more of these types of videos, so they will be happening more frequently. Maybe once a week, maybe once every other week, or something like that. Glad you guys are enjoying them, and in today's video, I'm going to show off Mastermind Creations to my brother, a company he's relatively familiar with, but with a twist. A lot of people, like, when I do this, accuse me of, like, cherry picking cherry all picking. the worst. Yeah, cherry picking all the, the robot men. Well, not cherry picking all the worst, but cherry picking, like, what makes the point that I want to make, mm -hmm. right? So, like, with uh, fans' toys, oh, I must have cherry picked the worst ones. And then with X Trans bots, then I, like, cherry picked all the best ones. But I, I was just selecting, like, you know, can, yes. can I do a quick categorical counterpoint to that okay. accusation? Uh, we are reacting to each figure. The fact that they're all from one brand is something I have to constantly remind myself of, and then maybe I've dropped one comment about it towards the end. But even if he picked all good ones or all bad ones, it's not like saying, oh, you've only picked the bad ones. It, it doesn't mean that the bad ones don't exist because there's good ones. We're just yeah, they're, they're... reacting to the ones that we react to. Anyways, this time I absolutely cherry-picked these. Oh, okay. this I is... feel like an idiot now for defending you. <laughs> well, I mean, that was the, that was the point. That's like that's the, the twist I wanted to do on this one is that this one is. I'm... Did I say Patinus? Yeah, it says Patinus. Is that his actual name? No, it's Optimus. Oh, okay. This so is... you said you've picked all the what now? I've, I've cherry-picked them. This is the this is the steam engine one. Yes. This I is... actually love the steam engine ones. He's cool. I like his uh his little knight, knightly mouth plate. I don't know what's going on with his gun. Yeah. He his... Doesn't... <laughs> it's like he's just kind of brandishing a thing. Yeah. That's not much of a gun. Like if you were to fight in a train yard and you just pick something up to hit. How is it? How is it so close to like a like a naval cannon? But they filled the barrel with like a shoe. That's the alt mode. Oh, cool. Um, so what you like is you like the Iron Hearts figures. Yes, that's what they're called. It is an MMC figure. You know MMC. You're very familiar with them because I buy a lot of their stuff and I love their stuff. Yeah, I think they can. Like um, the, the Bruticus, the, the awesome Bruticus that all transforms into one. Oh, okay. The first aid that I just got, the IDW Megatron, all, okay. all this company. Yeah. They do have a lot of IDW stuff. Okay, so this is this is their Rampage. Okay. Their, their G1 Rampage. I'm not really familiar with who Rampage is. So the G1 had the Predacons. They, they were actually called the Predacons, but they were a combiner team and not like the precursors mm. to the Predacons that we know from Beast Wars. They yeah, just they turned into Predaking. Yes, they turned into Predaking. Okay. You're correct. Um, and this is their Rampage. Um, I honestly thought Predaking was a just big robot from the same like era of like Star Saber and... Uh, Who's that one guy with the, the bird, I chicken mean, hat? Star Saber does kill him. Oh, yeah, you know the chicken hat? We talked about him in the previous episode. You're talking about Death Saurus. Yeah, it's Death Saurus. I thought Death Saurus and Predaking were just... Is Death Saurus a combiner? Mm, no. Okay, well, I thought they were very similar guys. Okay. As you show me the third figure here, you know what's hitting me? What? These are definitely toys. Yeah? You know, they're not like... <laughs> this one sucks. <laughs> <laughs> he looks like he's like doing the doggy hump. Yeah. Oh, God, yeah. Yeah, but no, that was, yeah, I don't like it. Yeah. Let's go with Whirl. Whirl is a very, very popular IDW character. Whirl. So this is Whirl, right? This is this is what their version of Whirl looks like. Okay. I can't remember. You, 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 you have an idea for who he is. Here's the thing. That's what he's supposed to look like. Yeah. Perfect. Yeah, one one to one, totally. They got uh, chicken legs. They got clipped claw hands. They got uh, antenna coming off his head. Those are the, if I were to try to describe Whirl out loud, helicopter cockpit chest. I mean, yeah, here's the thing, though, is that like on, this are is... Are his blades photoshopped out on accident? Where, like, no. Uh, no. Here's the thing, here's what I would say, is that, yes, this is absolutely like what would happen if someone who had never seen World before had been described World by someone else and then was left to their own devices to design a toy of him. As you can see, like, the legs aren't digitigrated enough, they're not skinny enough, um, he doesn't have the guns underneath his titties, he's got four fingers instead of two. It's close, it's no cigar by a long mile. There's an interesting reason for that. As you can see, he's actually not that big, because uh, uh, this one, this one right here, that's a deluxe figure. Mm. Um, there's his alt mode, that's pretty accurate to what the alt mode's supposed to look like at least. Mm -hmm. um, but... It's like a Pelican. Yeah, a bit. So the, there's an interesting reason as to why this looks as it does. And that's because of this. So he's a retool of... Uh, obsidian. Obsidian. Who doesn't look like this. This is not what... Obsidian. So they made a really bad obsidian and decided to turn it into a relatively okay world? No, here's the thing. Is that one thing that MMC is kind of known for and that they uh, don't really do so much anymore but did a lot more in the past is that they would design a figure that was meant to be like three different figures that would require like very minor retooling. Mm. So they never they never hit anything. They wouldn't they wouldn't nail any aspect. They were just like, here's a representation of this character. It's going to be flawed because we also designed it to be like three other dudes. So they took like every truck and made you know one truck and said this can be three guys if we switch the mirrors or make the bed longer. Exa or, yeah. Exactly. They they did the, they did that with Tarn and Thunderclash, um, and then like several other figures with that mold. They did that with Strika. They did that with a ton of figures. And and this is one of, this is one of the most egregious examples because they just Obsidian doesn't look like this. World doesn't look like World does. Obsidian is the, uh, he's the alligator-faced, like, general of the Viacons from, uh, Beast Machines, if you remember him? Yeah, okay, yeah, yeah. Yeah, he just flies around, he has a scorpion yeah, legs. and it turns out it was Waspinator? No, that's Thrust. Oh. They look kind of similar. Did Thrust have legs? Thrust had a wheel. Okay, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah I remember that. See the tank guy, he put the key in his little slot, his little slot thing, and he... Slapping. No, that's Tankor. Tank, goddamn, what a terrible name. Um, so yeah, that's Obsidian. If you remember him, <clears throat> Piglet. He was like in the, he was like at the very end of the show. Oh, okay. And he was with Striker, the big, big rock looking bitch. I saw this way right here. Uh, hmm. Wow, those don't look similar. Yeah, no, they, they didn't. 
they uh they, they kind of one thing that's weird is like the the, the animation models like this. Oh, dude, what if, no, dude, what if you like oh you buy this transform, it's got this part, but secretly you can take that part, put it into a Beyblade. Shut it can be the middle layer of a Beyblade. How cool would that be? Crossovers like that? You could build a Beyblade entirely out of Transformers parts. They made both of them very flawed, so that way they could make both of them on the same tooling. And it's it's something that early MMC did a lot. And so, anyways, I think uh, what do you think the cherry picking was? What what, what do you think I was going after with MMC on this? It's definitely not things I would be familiar with. So far, but that wasn't what I wasn't going for. It's not like their best figures. It's not their worst figures, I imagine, unless it is, in which case they're doing okay. Um, I was pretty much going for their worst figures. I, oh, okay. I was essentially going for their oldest figures, which I know to be their worst. Yeah, I mean, that, that just makes sense. But if these are their worst figures, I, the fact that they're as expensive as they are is a little unfortunate, but if that was like at a, in, a, in a store, you know, just like in an actual Hasbro branded box, I think people would be pretty happy with it. So this is their Cyclonus. What's going on here? Yeah. Very different take on Cyclonus. Very strange, very yeah. odd. The Here's one the... we did the other day where it was just the actual Studio Series Cyclonus, but a little bit worse. Yeah. That was unfortunate. This one... So, yeah. so, this, is, so this is what they're going for. They're going for this version of Cyclonus. Mm -hmm. um, no, they aren't. I know, right? That guy's purple. <laughs> I know, right? This man's arms are purple. I know, right? Like they, 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 this, this one, they could just kind of flat botched. But yeah, so they're going for this version. They put way, way too much Greeble on him. Like, his shoulders are wrong. Like, they're just, like, they're yeah. fucking flat. They're wrong. Everything it's about those is wrong. Uh, it's almost like, hmm. It's just wrong. Everything they did If wrong. you look at that inside area of this shoulder, right here, mm -hmm. uh, that kind of looks like the top of one of his shoulders, as if they were supposed to rotate out once. But they know? didn't. But they don't. They kind of got his correct hands with, like, the claws and whatnot. But they don't have his waist. They kind of have his face. His colors are wrong as hell. He just, he doesn't look right. Why is he, why is he touching those kids? And you got his alt mode. That's his alt mode. Okay. It's okay. It's yeah, he's doing a full scorpion leg thruster thing that a lot of figures do. So. Yeah. Yes, it's, it's not amazing, but like, with the rest of the figure, it's, it's just. It's its own thing, at least. I don't know why his forearms are different. Colors. Yeah, why, why is he not purple like he's supposed to be? Anyway, so then we go down to Death's Head. His hat's broke. His, yeah, it's supposed to be based on character. And you got Death's head, like the moth. And do you notice? Not like the moth. And do you notice anything? This has nothing to do with the moth. Yeah, they're the same. They got the same shoulder bit. Yeah. Is Death's head the guy with the big? He's a member of the J, D, D, J, D, D. No, Death's head is specifically a Marvel Comics creation. Oh, that's he's, weird. He's, he's, he's got he's that a... thing in his stomach though. You know that one? That one guy like has the big turbine in his stomach. Kind of yeah. Uh, he, he's got. He, he's he's just a Marvel Comics like space bounty hunter, and he stayed there when they left. I don't like. I like I like him, but not as a Transformer. Yeah. He'd be cool as like a. He's like a robot a, man. Yeah, imagine a like Captain Harlock villain that looked like that. He'd be like, yeah, pretty cool, pretty cool. He's not a villain though. He's got a chainsaw. It's come on. <laughs> he's just a bounty hunter. Well, he's like. He, he, no, okay, so here's the he's thing. He's like he's like more honorable Lobo. That makes sense, you know. And being really outrageous looking is a good advertising when you're in some sort of mercenary. Field. Yeah, you were just running a D and D campaign where that happens. Yeah. You but, can see that the whole cockpit is just a cape on his back, which means that Cyclonus is doing the same thing. Huh. Yeah, I guess so. Yeah, so that's Death's head, and then we're going to go Lockdown. Notice anything about him? Uh, well, he's um, either Monster Energy or Achievement Hunter. Um, he's yet another Cyclonus repaint. Yeah, I mean, obviously. Uh, this is this is. I should have said. I should have done like what I did with, with everyone else. This does not look like Lockdown. He looks very wrong. His head is. Like, even for IDW Lockdown, like, that's not what his head is supposed to look like. If Jason Statham would ever play a Transformer, it'd probably be this thing. Um, he was in the movies. Jason Statham? No, Lockdown. Oh, Jesus. I was like, really? <laughs> Which one? The Marky Mark ones? I've seen so many pictures of Mark Wahlberg no. uh, doing something stupid in proximity to a large CG object, but I've never seen a single one of Jason Statham. No, Lockdown was in them. He did not look like Lockdown. Which one was he? He was in the fourth one with Mark Wahlberg. I haven't seen that one. I saw the first two. The only one we have left is RC. This is gonna be interesting. Is it the blue one that everyone wants to fuck? Oh, it's blue. It's green. Oh, it's green. Yeah. So this is this is their first RC, which uh -huh. is gonna confuse people because they, they did a later RC and it doesn't look like this. Okay. I I like it. But it looks like a twenty dollar toy. Yeah, exactly. It doesn't look. What? How much does this one cost? I think it's like seventy to eighty. Okay, that's at least not hundred and twenty. Yeah, it definitely looks like a. Uh, it looks like a Legends figure. It looks like a toy that was made for mass. mass this thing is awful. What it's is scorp it's it? scorpioned out. It's the that one. one's cool. That one's I like, better. I like that one. Yeah. Is the other one supposed to be what's your face? Uh, uh, the other one is just um. So there was a scene. Isn't there like a greenish motorcycle robot lady? Um, you were thinking of Chromia? Uh, aquatic, or not, not Chromia? You, no, you're thinking. Uh, that's not a cut. You're thinking. Not a cut. You're thinking. Uh, Valley. Shut up. Of our sequence. You're thinking of Moonracer, who is not a motorcycle. No, this particular character is based on a single scene from the third season of the Transformers. Oh yeah, the one with Alita One and the, 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 no, the introduction of the. No, you are wrong. That's no? Moonracer. Let Fuck, me finish. Dude. <laughs> Let me finish. Do they make a Moonracer? Can we talk about that? They, they, they don't make a Moonracer, but Hasbro has made a Moonracer. I have it. Anyways. This is based off an episode in the third season where Cyclonus commits Galvatron to a space psych ward because oh, he's too yeah, insane, yeah, and that. she was his nurse. He's a nurse. Doesn't he hit her? Doesn't he slap her across the room? Or does she slap him? So, you know, obviously the green one is based on the pink one, which is based on the IDW interpretation of her. Mm. But once again, it's very, it's incredibly primitive. These are all very, I, I guess that's the theme of today's episode is primitive MMC, mm -hmm. which 
honestly pretty good for no, dude like plastic life blogspot.com she looks i get here's the, so transformers they're like robots but they're also people so they look like people kind of like there's supposed to be a lot of organicness to them this just looks like a robot this looks like an off-brand like gundam more so than an off-brand transformer yeah i feel yeah i feel like some that. weird take on giant robot culture oh all right this is this is not rampage i didn't we didn't I, actually like, I, I cannot conjure a, a, a single feeling about it's this. so toy and so this is this one's bad like look how skinny and yeah, long his, he is. It's from like from 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 armpits to cock. It's just there's too much. <laughs> and then it, I I, is this just like a weirdly stretched photo because boy hung? No, this, this, this is just to it no, or? this is just what this figure looks like. Yeah, I just it's weird looking. And then like look at that's a zoid. Yeah, that's a zoid. That's a, render. that's a zoid, but also just look at that. There's so much space between the beast legs. And what is Zoids but G Gundam with animals? Final yeah. thoughts on early MMC. I don't like animal transformers that aren't from Beast Wars. The idea of an animal transformer next to a truck is just stupid. I, I, especially when they're like, they look like this. Yeah. Especially when they're not hiding at all. When they are a Zoid. Yeah, exactly. Transformers are robots in disguise. Haha, <laughs> you know, that's kind of a joke because originally they were just a bunch of non related toy lines of transforming toys because transforming is cool. And they were like, oh, but what if they all lived in a shared universe and they had to hide their true forms? Yeah, yeah. But even though G1 didn't really ever, Probably like, why did they have to hide their true forms? Honestly, the only one that justified it in any meaningful way was the Beast Wars. But yes, this is the early stuff. Um, I specifically chose this one so that way later I could do, like, in, in a future yeah. video, I could actually, like, go with the good figures. Yeah, instead of doing a smattering, you set up two videos. I was, I, was being, I was being a clever boy here and making sure that I could make two videos out of this subject instead of just one. What, what's the worst one? Either of the two cats. I actually like that one. The one, one with the big red wheels. No, no, that's one of the two cats. Obsidian. Um, Obsidian. I like Obsidian. Yeah, it's okay. It's, it's, cool. it's, a, it's a cool he's, design. He's striking. There's there's a, yeah. his silhouette, the big see-through plastic orange Yeah, it's a cool, it's a cool design on its own. It yeah. is not a good design for Obsidian. Cold blue with some nice yellow red lining in the panels there. Like, the, the just I like everything about this. It's just like... I, I mean, it's your aesthetic. Yeah, exactly. And then you like that. A cool guy. I like trains. I like trains. I like trains. Um, Monster Energy. This guy would be cool in Harlock. Uh, God, it just sucks that there's such a good Cyclonus that you can get for so cheap. <laughs> <laughs> not even, well, here's the thing. It's a good Cyclonus for the regular Cyclonus. It is not a good stand-in for the version of Oh, yeah, of this. the IDW Cyclonus. There like, is no good IDW Cyclonus out there yet. It's infuriating. It's like, MFC, do this again, please, and do it like you do it now. Yeah, just make IDW start making them like regular Cyclonus, and then they'll they overlap did. again. They did, and it's lame. Well, no, I mean, like, character-wise, who cared, but, like, design -wise. No, I mean, they did, and it's lame. They did start making him look like old Cyclonus again. No. He has two bunny ears instead of horns on his head. The horns are cooler! This one's broken! You can't break a bunny's ear, it's all cartilage and skin. <laughs> Shut up. I can- I, I'll say that, for the most part, their early figures kind of suck. They are- they're- they're ugly, they're very particular, they're very toy-like. They're very toyetic. Um, and they... Just... Is there a figure for every IDW character? No, they have not covered every IDW character. Not, like, across all parties? Not just... MMC are pretty much the only people who tackle IDW figures. That's weird. Um, it, 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 was their, it was their, like, niche for a very long time. Wait, so his gun is just his smokestack? It yeah. didn't have to have that dumb thing hanging out the front? Yep, absolutely. What is the dumb thing? I don't know. I don't even know what that is. It flips up and it sucks. It's a, it's a front sight that you can't see because it's beneath the barrel line. It's beneath the, yeah, it's inside the, I don't know, what is it, like a heat shield? So how would you compare the old MMC to Fans Toys? It's not really a comparison I want to make. Uh, fans Toys was uncanny in a way that this isn't. Um, this is just, the, these are all perfectly fine. As far as toys, but like this would be a great toy for like a teenager or child. Yeah. When I say teenager, I mean like 13, 12, you know, like the normal, I still play with toys age. Um, as far as a collectible figurine, I don't really find a lot of appeal here. But at the same time, uh, Fans Toys, I also didn't find a lot of appeal there, even though that you could tell they were trying pretty hard. <laughs> even though I think in the episode about Fans Toys, we said that they, I think I said that they didn't seem like fans was one of my yeah, points. Yeah, so you said they didn't seem like fans and that they, they have first draft energy. Yeah, they have first draft energy and don't seem like fans, but they also seem like they were trying really hard to be something that they, I don't know, weren't accomplishing. These just kind of, a lot of these seem a little bit lazy. I guess it's by definition lazy by trying to make one figure that can be three characters. Yeah, or more. Or more. Yeah. I think there's, I think one of their figures they end up turning into six different characters. <laughs> there's a laziness here. They seem like fun toys, uh, not collectibles and uh, lazy. Take that, MMC, you amazing hacks. You incredible, genius, awesome hacks who do a great job nowadays that I absolutely love. Toys, yeah. you, you do better than almost anyone else, you fucking mm -hmm. suck. If you hate the video, remember to thumbs down the video and comment about how much you hate it. Subscribe for more things you hate. And if you like the video, go subscribe to Blippy. He's never done anything wrong. Who the fuck is Blippy? Is that guy who shit on that other guy in the Harlem Shake video? And then they recently found out that that was him. And since then, he's been like an incredibly popular children's YouTuber. Okay. They describe him as Mr. Rogers mixed with Logan Paul, which I don't even want to begin to try to unpack. <laughs> but he does, he just kind of, he wears like colorful clothes and he talks about like topics. And it's like all like very much for children. But it turns out years ago when Harlem Shake was a meme, they were like, doodle Harlem Shake. And then it cut to him and that dude naked. One was wearing a ski mask and he was wearing something else and he was shitting on him. Look it up, dude. Look up Blippi shits on it. I'll do that right now.